Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write compound inequalities from a number line. We will go through four examples and cover both inequalities involving or and inequalities involving and. Let's jump into number one. Now, the first thing that we need to determine when writing a compound inequality from a number line is if it's an or or and compound inequality. Well, we can see that we have two separate inequalities graphed here with that gap in the middle and the arrows are going in opposite directions. So this is going to be an or compound inequality. We can clearly see we have two inequalities here. We have this inequality or this inequality. Now taking a look at the inequality on the left, we have an open circle at negative two. So negative two is not included. Then the arrow is going left. So that's representing everything less than negative two. Let's use X for our variable. So we have X is less than negative two. Now the inequality on the right, we have a closed circle at one. So one is included. Then we have an arrow going right, representing everything greater than one. So we have X is greater than or equal to one. And those are our two inequalities that make up our compound inequality. So let's write this out using or. We have x is less than negative two or x is greater than or equal to one. And that's it, we're done. That's our compound inequality from the number line below. Let's move on to number two. Now let's take a look at number two and start by seeing if this is an or, or and compound inequality. Well, we have what looks like a line segment or just a section of a number line here. We don't have any arrows or inequalities that necessarily pop out, so to speak. This is what and compound inequalities look like on a number line. Now we can see that we have a filled circle at two. Two is included. Then we have the numbers to the right, so greater than two. So we have two included here, and then we want the numbers to the right. So our inequality here, and we will use x for our variable, is x is greater than or equal to two. Next, we have an open circle at nine. So nine is not included. Then we have the numbers to the left. So less than nine. So an open circle at nine, and then the numbers to the left. So our inequality here is X is less than nine. And these are our two inequalities that make up our compound inequality. And since this is an and compound inequality, we want where these two inequalities overlap. X has to be greater than or equal to two and less than nine. So let's write this out. X is greater than or equal to two and X is less than nine. Now remember, we can write and compound inequalities without the word and. So we can write this as X. I like to write the variable down first and it goes in the middle is greater than or equal to two and less than nine. So again, X is greater than or equal to two and less than nine. And that's our compound inequality written out from the number line. Let's move on to numbers three and four. Here are numbers three and four. Feel free to pause the video and try these two on your own if you'd like. Let's jump into number three and it looks like we have an or compound inequality. We have a filled circle at 20. 20 is included. 
then the arrow is going left, representing everything less than 20. So we have x is less than or equal to 20. Then we have a filled circle at 25 with an arrow going right, representing everything greater than 25. So we have x is greater than or equal to 25. Now we have our two inequalities that make up our compound inequality. We have x is less than or equal to 20, or x is greater than or equal to 25. Let's move on to number four, and it looks like we have an and compound inequality here. We have an open circle at negative three, a filled circle at positive three, and then we want everything in between. So where our two inequalities overlap. Let's figure out our two inequalities. We'll start with negative three. We have an open circle there. So negative three is not included. Then we have the numbers to the right. So greater than negative three. So an open circle at negative three, and then we want the numbers greater than negative three. So our inequality here, x is greater than negative three. Next, we have a filled circle at positive three. Three is included. Then we have the numbers to the left. So less than three. So three is included here. And then we want the numbers less than three. So our inequality, x is less than or equal to three. And those are our two inequalities that make up our compound inequality. And since this is an and compound inequality, we want where these two inequalities overlap. x has to be greater than negative three and less than or equal to three, positive three. So let's write this out using and, and then without and. So we have x is greater than negative three, and x is less than or equal to three, positive three. Now let's write this without and. So we have x is greater than negative three, and less than or equal to three. So x is greater than negative three and less than or equal to three. So there you have it. There's how to write compound inequalities from a number line. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.